Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps RC channel. I'm your host, Justin Davis. And today we have a new release. It's March 1st, 2016. DJI has officially released the new Phantom 4 series. Uh, comes with a couple new modes. We're gonna talk about those modes. We're gonna go over some specs. We're gonna trim the fat, and we're gonna get right to the skinny of the Phantom 4. So we're gonna show you what's important, what's new, and uh, go over some of the features with you now so you don't have to read through the specs and go through the website looking at all that stuff. We're going to tell you right here. Uh, no need to read it. We're going to show it to you coming up next. Okay guys, here it is. This is the new DJI Phantom 4 series. Uh, this comes in 4K. We only know one version of it right now. There's not multiple versions like the Phantom 3. This is the new body style and design. Um, someone quoted on Facebook saying it looked like a pillow on a tea tray. Kind of funny, but the not so funny side of that is that uh, inside this frame there's packed a whole lot of intelligent features so let's go over some of the features uh, one thing we noticed right away was that they were talking about the elevated motors the motors are elevated so that they can have proper cl prop clearance from the frame uh, they also claim that it gives it a higher speed in, in the air so that's yet to be determined but it does have a top speed of around 44 miles per hour which is pretty awesome for people that want to film mountain biking snowboarding etc um, the phantom 4 comes in at $13.99 retail price. Pre-orders are open right now. Um, let's go over some of the modes. Uh, before we do that, I got to tell you about a quote that I saw on the DJI website. It's kind of funny. Uh, the sexiest drone that DJI has ever designed. Welcome to the era of vision by Frank Wang. Frank Wang says that this one is the sexiest version ever designed. So that is up to you to decide. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and go into the modes. One of the most important modes on there, as you see right on the front of the copter, those two little black dots on right above each landing gear. That is the obstacle avoidance system on there, and it's designed to avoid obstacles when you're flying up to even something as, as narrow as a tree. Uh, I believe they said it does have an obstacle avoidance up to 500 pixels. So that's, that's pretty small. I don't know that I would trust it to go uh, straight into a power line or, or around a power line or something like that, but it might. So that's, that's yet to be determined. And it's also um, depends on how bright it is outside. So 300 lux or greater, uh, the obstacle avoidance is supposed to work. So in our testing further this year, we're gonna let you know about that and give you the full skinny on the obstacle avoidance. But so far, looks great. Uh, great job, DJI. Um, the next mode in here is um, tap fly. That is a mode where you can tap on the screen and the DJI Phantom 4 will take off and fly in the direction that you tap while in GPS mode and avoiding obstacles along the way. So pretty cool that it does that. Um, tap mode does only work in GPS mode. Um, it does not work in Addy mode. So the next mode is track people. Uh, you can track a subject or something moving. Um, you can do that with the mode called active track. Uh, works down to about nine feet above the ground. So if somebody's riding a bike or a skateboard, you can have it follow them along and trap that track that subject. To take it out of track mode, you simply tap on the screen again where it says stop. Um, the next mode up is smart mode, which is the new smart, excuse me, smart return to home mode. Um, smart return to home is essentially the culmination of obstacle avoidance and return to home. So as your copter is coming back home now, it's going to avoid the obstacles on the way back. Years previously to this, we've had people f crash into buildings, uh, mesas, um, trees, all kinds of things people have hit on the way coming back to home. So hopefully we can avoid that now. The drone should stop mid-air, uh, should ascend over whatever the obstacle is and continue its trajectory home. So the next mode, uh, would be there is 
different modes in here. Uh, sport mode. Sport mode allows this thing to go wide open up to about 44 miles per hour. That is pretty cool that they added that in here. I do like the faster speed of this um, drone that, that it will reach up to 44 miles per hour for action sports. That's pretty cool. Um, they're boasting a 28 minute flight time. Looks like um, the battery itself is a 4S5350. Uh, it's a 15.2 volt and the max charge rate on that is 100 watts. So it does come with a 100 watt charger and the battery is around 462 grams. So uh, it's, it's a pretty heavy battery, but it's a nice compact little battery that fits, it snaps right into the back of the drone and you're ready to go. Um, we're gonna talk about range. Range up to about three miles. Now they say that it's based on the previous version of Lightbridge. Um, uh, it, it is not Lightbridge. I just want to clarify that in the video that it's not Lightbridge. It's based on Lightbridge. So um, I'm assuming some other hybrid of Lightbridge fit for the Phantom. So it's not full blown Lightbridge, but three miles is, is pretty nice. And that's that 720p HD video downlink to your device. The new updated version also includes a new redesigned visioning positioning system. Um, supposed to be a little more reliable than the last one. It also has dual IMU and compass on board. This is a nice feature. This increases your reliability factor for your drone, not getting discombobulated, turned around, or flying off into the to wild blue yonder. Um, a, a dual IMU is essentially two computers on board now, um, very much like the Solo that we saw before. And um, dual compass is great because if one compass gets off, the other one takes over and can redefine the position in space for you. So that's nice. This is all working in real time. So a uh, pretty cool feature that we have dual IMU and compass now. We also have a uh, newly designed prop on here. We're going to show you that now. It is labeled the 9450 like the older ones, but this one has a, a push and release prop. Um, it allows harder braking on the motor. Years before, we've had hard braking on the Phantom 3s, 2s, and we've had props fly off, um, spin backwards. And so they don't spin on anymore. They push down and snap in place. Um, so we're gonna test that. We're gonna see how well that performs. If we have prop fly off, we'll let you know. Um, but that, that's kind of a good thing that they're not spin on props anymore. So uh, moving on to a new technology, a new design. The weight on it is about 1380 grams. Um, so over that half pound point, so you will register this one with the FAA, it will be required. Uh, GLONASS is included on there. So we have dual GPS, which means we're utilizing American and Russian satellites. Pretty cool, very cool. Now uh, the obstacle avoidance system, let's talk about that real quick, further in depth. Obstacle avoidance on the Phantom 4. It has a range of two to 49 feet, uh, up to about 15 meters in front of the drone. So as it's returning home, it's gonna be flying around things and up and over and back down. Um, depends on how high also. You, I believe you can still set the height return to home mode uh, meters in the app, in the DJI Go app. Uh, so, the operating environment, they say it has to be a clear surface with um, a light of Lux 15 or more. It has to be a decent, um, decently lit afternoon or, 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 or day when you're flying this scope. So darker days are going to be harder for object avoidance to work. So if you have a light meter, check the light outside and see what kind of Lux we're dealing with. Um, so don't fly it after dark. And, and, and try to rely on object avoidance. It's probably not gonna work after dark, so, um, and it's probably gonna work less on really dark days. So be careful using object avoidance during those days. Uh, the remote still works on uh, 2.4 gigahertz. It's, it's included with a battery inside, a 2S LiPo, 7.4 volt, and that's 6,000 milliamp hour. The camera has been newly redesigned. We're looking at a new 4K camera with a newer sensor in it. Um, it does look like the 12 megapixels still on that. Um, it has a lens of 94 degrees, a field of view. It supports a micro SD card up to 64 gigabytes. 
I don't believe that card is included. It shoots JPEG and Photo Raw, which is pretty nice for photographers. Video gets MP4, uh, MOV, MPEG, and H.264. Very nice. Uh, maximum image size is 4,000 to 3,000 pixels, which is your 4K. Uh, photo modes are shooting in single shot, burst, of 3, 5, and 7 frames. Your audio exposure, uh, you also have time lapse, you have HDR, you have single shot, uh, and those are the extra, extra additional photo modes. So auto exposure is nice, time lapse is great because we've seen a lot of cool videos with phantoms and time lapse, and HDR is always nice to have. Uh, so let's talk about video modes. The video modes, the shutter speed is, um, excuse me, the video modes are 4K, 2.7K, uh, 1920, and HD 1080. Um, the 4K gets 24 frames, 25 frames, and 30p. Uh, 2.7K gets 24, 25, and 30p. The 1920 gets 24, 25, 30 frames, 48, 50, 60, and 120p. Nice for your slow-mo stuff. Um, 1080 gets 24, 25, 30, 48, 50, and 60p. So let's go ahead now and let's go talk about the modes a little further in depth. Uh, the new sport mode is pretty cool. It does open it up. Um, it's accessible through uh, P, S, and A modes um, for faster flight. Uh, but sport mode is actually um, on the P mode in position mode. And that, that gives it access to a faster flight, uh, intelligent flight modes such as um, Auto active track and tap fly, um, the intelligent return to home mode, which is really, really nice. Uh, sport mode, let's talk about that. That's S in on the switch, PSA, and sport mode unlocks that flight speed of 44 miles per hour. So that would be your, uh, your, your fastest mode in the Phantom 4. A, which is attitude mode, the same as before. It does, it removes all satellite positioning and it allows the drone to, I always say, skating on ice. So essentially it doesn't hold its position anymore and as you fly the stick to the right and you let go, the Phantom 4 will continue to drift in that direction that you flew it. Uh, so it does also have, in replace of an, an old button on the other side uh, of the transmitter, it does have a pause button now which allows you to stop the phantom and put it into a solid hover so if you have a freak out something happens um, or someone's distracting you on the ground you can just hit the pause button and put your drone in a hover and it has to be in one of the intelligence modes for that to happen it has to be in gps mode when you're doing that because it's going to rely on that gps hold the gps lock and finally um, it looks like so far, the Phantom 4 is relying on the DJI GO app that is of uh, at this point, March 1st, 2016. So if this changes coming up in the next six months, um, that will probably be updated in a later video. But right now, it looks like we're using the DJI GO app and it should be universal uh, with the Phantom 4. It should update to work with that specific copter. Um, so pretty cool. All the features that we've looked at here, not bad for a $13.99 price, all-inclusive Phantom 4. Okay guys, that's it. That's the Phantom 4 by DJI for 2016. Those are the preliminary features and modes and specs of the new Phantom 4. So keep watching the channel this year. We're going to have further demos. We're going to have flight demos. We're going to show you some of the features, some of the modes. We're going to do some tutorials and some how-tos on the Phantom 4. So go ahead and please click subscribe. Um, if you have any information to add to this video, if we left anything out, we definitely can't add everything in this video. So please be nice and comment below on some of the features that we may have missed. If you find further information, please feel free to share with the community uh, here at Drone Camps YouTube channel. So thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. Please click subscribe.